Hey everyone, welcome back to another YouTube best practice video. Today we are talking about sustainability and discoverability, two important things to make sure that your videos are being watched over and over again. So first, as always, we'll start with what this means. We'll then look at some examples and then how to implement it with your channel. So first, what do I mean by discoverability and sustainability? With discoverability, I mean, will people be able to find your video with YouTube search? Most of my views come from people searching for topics in the YouTube search bar. YouTube videos also show up on Google when you search for something in Google. And if there's a popular video about it on YouTube, it will show up in the search results because YouTube is owned by Google. And so they work together. And so you wanna make sure that your videos are able to be searched and found. And that comes through strong keywords which are the key elements, the key topics of your video that show up in your titles, your descriptions, and the tags of your video. We're going to be walking through exactly how to do this in a future video, but just for, for now, know that this is how people find your videos. It's with strong keywords in your titles and descriptions and tags. Now about sustainability, what I mean by that is will your videos be able to be watched over and over again and are they evergreen are they something that will be able to be watched now and 10 years from now i've made mistakes before that i'm going to show you in just a second in the example of a video that doesn't really make sense anymore you don't need to watch it because it's a completely updated platform that uh, that is now being taught and what i was using doesn't exist anymore and i'll show you just that in a sec but first let's look at some other examples and explain these to two topics a little bit more in depth. So the first, let's look at this channel called How to Cake It. Almost a million subscribers, they put out videos on how to make awesome types of cakes. You can see this, it looks like an ice cream cone. It's actually a mint chocolate chip ice cream cone cake. <laughs> and so this is a video that is, is sustainable and very discoverable. So with sustainability, cakes are made the same way that they have always been made with the same ingredients. Now, of course, this is a new take on creating a cake in a different way, but the ingredients and the way you make this cake will be the same now as it is in five or 10 years. So someone who wants to make a mint chocolate chip ice cream cone cake can use this video today, and they could also use this video in five or 10 years. And that's what it means to be evergreen. It will also be a video that can be viewed multiple times. It's not a viral hit that someone doesn't necessarily want to watch again and again. It's something that people will need to watch once to when they find it, another time when they're looking up the recipes, and another time when they are learning how to make it itself. And these how-to videos where you're actually showing something, de demonstrating something in the video are really good for being evergreen and, and sustainable. Another example is Mount MoGraph. They put out After Effects tutorials. Now with their discoverability, one thing I would have done differently is, you see their title is Summit 1.1 Intro to Motion Graphics After Effects. Summit 1.1 shows that this is a series of videos and that's great because people know that and might subscribe because of that so they can see the rest of the series, but YouTube actually suggests that we put the branding of our video, the series number at the end of the video title. So I would have called this Intro to Motion Graphics After Effects Summit 1.1. But that being said, it still has some great keywords, motion graphics and After Effects that many people are searching for. And it's also an evergreen topic because it's not how to use After Effects version CS6 or version Creative Cloud, which are specific versions of the tool. It's just an introduction that can be done with any version of After Effects. Here's another great example. Learn Spanish. Great keyword up front. 150 Spanish phrases for beginners. So this is a Spanish learning channel. And Spanish is very evergreen. People will want to learn Spanish now and probably in the US at least, more in, so in the future. And across the world, people are always going to want to learn Spanish. And now in a year or in two years, these 150 sp 
Spanish phrases will be the same. They will all be great phrases to know for beginners when you're starting to learn Spanish. And so that's what makes this video so evergreen and sustainable. And again, it has great keywords. Now let's look at my video, which is a bad example of evergreen videos and sustainability. I have a video that's very popular, but it's called Best Final Cut Pro 7 Export Settings for YouTube and Vimeo. Why is this video bad, at least now for me? It's because Final Cut Pro 7 doesn't exist anymore. Of course, some people might use it themselves because they have an old version, but Apple, who makes Final Cut Pro video editing software, they discontinued the Pro the 7 software and they changed it to Final Cut Pro X, which is completely different than Final Cut Pro 7. So anybody that gets into video editing with Final Cut Pro today won't find this video useful. And so that's a bad example of what not to do, or a good example of what not to do. So we looked at some examples. Now let's learn how you can do sustainable and discoverable videos. One idea is to use YouTube search to verify your ideas. When you're thinking about a topic for a video that you wanna make, search for that topic on YouTube and see if there are other videos that are related or similar to that. If, it, if there are, and if there are videos that have thousands of views, it's a good idea to make that video. If there are no videos or videos that only have hundreds of views, it's probably not a popular video topic that you wanna spend time creating. Another thing is to make videos that can be watched multiple times. So not all of us have the, the luxury of creating this type of video for our target audience, but if you think about funny videos like fail videos or cat videos, these are videos that people share and that they watch over and over again. So that's why they get viewed millions of times. That's why they can go viral. It's because people watch them multiple times. It's, it's not necessarily a million people watching them. It might be 500,000 people watching it twice. And this is why music videos are great because people wanna to listen to the song over and over again. Again, you wanna make sure that your videos aren't going to stop being relevant, or if, yeah, you don't wanna make sure that like you're creating videos about a subject that won't be around in the next week or two. This is why creating a channel based off of news topics is really hard. It's hard to be sustainable because it's so much work to put out relevant content of, in a news-related way over and over every week. I tried creating a baseball channel where I talked about the latest baseball news, but it didn't have success because I couldn't keep up with the baseball news. And then every week, the previous videos weren't relevant anymore. And lastly, you wanna make sure that you choose titles and keywords that can be found in the search. So don't pick random words. Don't choose a title that's like a phrase. Choose actual words that people might search for to find your videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in another best practice tips video.